Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again on your Friday with another video. If you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested. Or if you would rather, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please include the title of the video, the date that it was posted, a short description of the item, a timestamp, and a price quoted. That way I'm guaranteed to grab the exact item that you would like. And if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, address, PayPal, email, and YouTube name. Uh, that way I can match up your names and get you invoiced. I invoice on the first of the month. Or $50, whichever comes first. So if you don't see your invoice right away, that would be why. And now let's grab a handful of these beautiful... Oh, 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 things. Beautiful things. Beautiful things. This is Moss Agate, the large. Let's see how long she be. Moss Agate chips. Chip strand for, let's see, uh... 34 inches of them. Beautiful. They're coming off a lot more blue on the camera than they are. So don't let that fool you. They are lovely forest greens. Very nice. That I will do for eight. And this is beautiful. Fire polished, clear, oh, I love it, and it is a three strand, beautiful, oh my gosh, look at that, oh, the sparkle is not, it's not, I can't, Oh, and it drapes nice, too. That one, I'll do that one for eight as well. This is a stunner. It is huge chunks. Okay, so orange calcite, probably calcite, calcite, tiger eye, calcite, tiger eye. Oh. Look at the big chunks of stone in that. Beautiful. That one we will do for... This up here is not anything great. But this down here is... I'll do that for eight. <coughs> I hate to do it for eight, but... This is... Quartz and resin, but these barrel beads are quartz, and then we have brass, brass up here, and then another quartz beads, and then more of that, and then leather, beautiful leather. And then a big old brass toggle. That's beautiful. That's really nice. We'll do that for 10. Undyed Howlite. Bracelet. Bar bracelet. That's cool. Look at that. Very nice. Does it have a name? Of course it doesn't. Wow, that's really cool. Do that for seven. Seven. Oh, no, don't. Don't, don't drop on the floor. Hold on.
Uh, where is it? <laughs> Excuse me. If I could see where you went. No, I cannot see where it went. Really? It disappeared. Oh well. We'll look after we're done. We'll look after we're done. <laughs> All right, here's a hunk of agate. Translucent. Ooh, I like that chain. If I could get it to where you can see it. Isn't that cool? That's a neat little chain. And it's really long, too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 34 inches. Gonna do this one for seven. Even if you don't like the stone that's on it, that chain is fantastic. This is... Beautious red cupcake. Why does it have a cupcake on it? That's so funny. It's missing something. Well, I don't know. We'll put that aside for now. Something happened to it. All right, this is not. This can't be amber. Yes, it can, apparently. Can you see the green? Yep. That's the real McCoy. How about these little beads? Are these also a little bit harder to see on those? Hmm. Can't tell. Can't tell if the tiny beads are or not, but the big ones are. Hold on. Let me find the end of this. This is a very strange piece. Oh, look, it's got... Hmm. So, we have an interesting coiled flat brass bead. It's made into a bead. Uh, it has a tiger eye bead. A big hunk of Amber with a doily type thing, and then this guy, and then a Baroque pearl in like an amber color. Tiny little amber beads, I'm pretty sure they're amber. And then we go around to here, another chunk of amber, and then of all things, silver tone. There's another, there's a little Swarovski there. This is so strange. Uh, so strange, I don't know what the heck to charge for it. But just on the strength of that. Wow. I'm going to do this one for 22. Probably worth way more than that, but it's a hand-done piece. 
it's very different. Really cool. Okay, there we go. This is brass and black pottery. Yeah, these are pottery. These are hand done, handmade. They're made with like a red clay because you can see on the edge or uh, see down in there. It's red clay. Terracotta. So these are terracotta underneath here. Terracotta and brass. And I don't know about these two things, whether they're sterling or not. What a leather cord. That's really nice. We'll do that for nine. I don't know what to do. Yellow. A dollar. Ugh, this is so difficult when there's such nice things. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at you. You're cute. So we have some dyed, dyed stuff. Cha-cha bracelet. Looks like somebody made. It's got some glass. It's got some dyed howlite. And much of it is um, acrylic. That's cool, though. It's so pretty. It's so colorful. Let's see how long it is. If I can find the end of it. There it is. There we go. Oop. Let's see. Na, 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 na. It goes from seven and a half to nine and a half. So that's a good stretch. We'll do that for five. There's some more of this. A dollar. Okay, and then there's black stone. A dollar. Let's do the three of those. Three dollars for the three of them. And then we have some 1980s twist beads. I had these when I was a young lady just married. Yep. And that marriage went kaput. <laughs> kaput. So, yep. There they are. And then you twist them like this. Right? And then you put the big, there's usually a big thing you hook on here. This goes around the back. Or if you're wearing an updo, you put this in the back. I had a bunch of uh, different front pieces for these. So we're going to do the four strands of natural colored ones. Because that's cool. Usually they're dyed. I think they're... I never knew what they were made of. They look like coral almost. This looks like banded agate. This looks like sponge coral, but whichever they may be, I'm going to do all four of these for $7, and then we have this monstrosity. Let me see. It's a Chico's, I'll bet you. Is it? <gasps> Look at that. It's a Chico's. <laughs> so it is a lot of faux stone, but it's really cool. Kind of another uh, 
runway looking piece, you know what I mean? Very cool. And its full length is full length is twenty one inches. We'll do that one for seven. Oh, handfuls of nice things. That just feels yummy. Rossi's dolls. Ooh, you're pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Another nice long one. This is uh, Erica Lyons. So we have silver tone chain. Bronze beads. Some faceted in a gray. Some lighter copper colored beads. And then we're back to bronze. And then a big hunk of smoky quartz. Or smoky glass. Whichever. And then, of course, a really cool tassel. You know I love the metal tassels. I gotta play with it. But anyway, that is a really cool piece. Erica Lyons will do that for seven, I guess. This is a beautiful hank of beads in a carnelian color they are just beads I guess a little big to be a bracelet so for this hank of beads I'm gonna do Ooh, I don't know how to do far. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I like playing with them. Uh, we'll do those for six, I guess. That's not much. Uh, this is... Looks like it broke, whatever it is. This, yeah, whatever it is, broke. Oh, I see. It is three strands of beads, beautiful faceted glass beads. Come on now. There we go. We have. That and this. Okay, so this is easily fixed. It's three strands of chain, okay? And then it goes down to three layers of faceted beads. It has these blush colored ones it has these fire polish looking ones and then it has these gold and uh gold tone and like a gunmetal um and it just needs to be reattached to the to the chain let me see if the chain is missing anything Yeah, the chain is missing the jump ring that goes to this. That is a crying shame. Because it's a beautiful piece. Very sparkly. 
Eh, since it's broke, I'll do it for four because the beads. The beads, the beads, the beads, the beads. And then, last but not least, we have this interesting glass piece. These are beautiful. They're, fr they're like frosted green. Iridescent. Oh, that is a beautiful piece. And it looks like these beads are handmade, some of them. Look at that. It's blue with a gold foil inside it. Oh, this one's going to be eight. Okay, that's going to do it for your Friday. Have a great weekend. I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.